Hey everybody, what's going on? Stickle for the Kills here. I'm coming to you with something different from my channel. We're going to be playing some 32 team expansion franchise mode on NHL 18. And I'm bringing my favorite team from the ECHL, the Fort Wayne Comets, to NHL. So I've already gone through and I've made my stadium and created the uniforms and all that to kind of save that, save that time on this video. But I've been going to Comets games since I was probably six or seven years old. And I was so glad to see that they had their, their logo in there. And I thought, yep, we're going to do that. So I set the league up. I can show you what we're, our settings are. You see, I got the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum there in Fort Wayne. Um, let's see. We can go to settings, and I'll show you real quick. The rules. I've got entries turned on. I got them down to, to 10. We got fighting at two, no touch icing. I like that because I do play some of my games. I don't always just simulate them. I'm delayed offsides, penalties on two of four. Trap slide rules on one seven minute periods because, I, like I said, I do play them. I don't want to be too long when I do play them. And all star difficulty, I'm still getting used to the defensive skill stick and getting a few too many tripping calls on that. So once I get that ironed out, I'll be maxing that out. Um, of course, the usual kind of stuff that most people do. Assistant coach, nope, don't need help with that. Playable injury uh, return warning. Minor league coaches says for now, yes, on that. Um, same thing. Playable injuries for minors. Uh, auto rotate goalies on, of course. Auto sign free agents. Nope. Turned it off. Auto finance is off. I'm gonna manage my own finances. So I'll show you a little bit about that during this uh, this series. I'll show you how to make some money, how to get some profits, etc., etc. Uh, penalty time scale. I'm gonna leave it at six. I may take that down just a little bit, take it to five. I've done that before. Uh, trade difficulty, I always play at medium. Trade off and got notifications on, of course. Waiver on. And waivers on. Salary caps on, by the way. Morale meetings are off, but morale itself is on. Um, scouting assignment warnings. Yep, that's on. Coincidental penalties. I did turn that one down five to six. So that's where we're sitting with that. So what I decided to do for this video, since I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing around a lot with the 32 team expansion, the 31, the classic, all that. And whenever I play the 32, the 32 team, it always seems to be the same people protected. So any 32 team expansion draft you're going to watch, you're going to see the same players protected. So I'm not going to put that in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and do that myself and pick the same people I usually pick. There's no need to watch that again. Most people pick the same kind of people. I mean, I might change it up if I see some kind of difference, but I doubt that I will. I haven't so far, and I've played this quite a bit. Um, the draft class, I've already gone through that a little bit. I love that you can see the draft class on here, and I also like you can see the free agents too. But I'm in the usual, or um, Hersher, Iskinen, all those, you know, I've got them all. I've already gone through, I've got top four. Um, we have the fifth pick in the draft when we get to that. So we're going to get somebody pretty good. I know this first year is just not going to be great. It never is. But what are you going to do? It's expansion team, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the expansion draft thing. And like I said, it's, it's always the same, it seems, pretty much. So um, I'll come back with you as soon as I've done that. And I'll run through really quick who all is on our team at that point. And then we'll do the draft. We'll see if we can maybe make some trades. We'll get as many picks as we can, try to beef up the roster this first year, and then do some uh, free agents as well, just keep beefing up the AHL team especially. Uh, my goal is to have the AHL team be really good. So we want to get some people in there who are going to be like, say, 70s, maybe low 70s, and then we can get contracts for like two to three years. So we're going to be looking for some 22, maybe 23-year-olds on that. All right, so I'm going to do this expansion draft and pick my people, and I will be back with you shortly. All right, we're back, and as you can see, we got a Comets team now. We're about 24.075 million under cap space. And like I said, it's pretty much the same people that always get put on my list, you know, protected lists. So this time I try to draft just a few different people. I try to draft people who have got some kind of potential this time. I tend to stay away from that and look more at contracts. Um, I've had problems in the past 
where I would draft people and they would have like one year left on their contract and they wouldn't re-sign with me because I was an expansion team and they were like, we want to win right now. So I used to try to avoid that. But this time I went a different route. So I got a few different players. You know, we'll see how that plays out. But we're about to go into the um, into the draft. We're fifth in this uh, this upcoming draft. So we're gonna jump right into that next. Now I've already viewed the draft class and all that I mentioned, so we're gonna jump in and see what we can get and finish making this Comets team. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna, this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about you know building the basics of the team. So. I could just pick the players and then once we go through this draft then I'll kind of show you what we're left with you can see right there what we need we'll have to get some free agents and then we'll have to see how long this video is at that point but um, we'll probably we might even be able to put on some free agency on here I do tend to spend quite a long time in free agency so I may have to save that one for the second video but if I do that I'll probably put both those videos out at the same time so you can see the entire uh, entire team build so, um, like usual, you know, we don't have anything to trade for. Yeah, I take everything. Yeah. The usual top five people are going to go. So, I got the fifth pick, and I got one pick per round. So, I'm just going to simulate these picks before mine here. Now that they've gone, it's always the same like this. If all the usual people. We just don't have anything to draft with. We, you know, we don't have any anything for, for potential. Let's see, what's this trade all about here? They want my fourth round pick, and they're gonna give me a fifth and next year. Nah, no thanks. Nope. I appreciate the two picks and all that, but I can get those a different way. They just want to get up here and you know get a higher pick, but nah. Nah, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Alright, so they take Hiskinen, yeah, medium elite, 69. Nice, usual stuff. Peterson, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see who's left now of those elites. There's usually like five or six elites. I'm not positive, but I think it is five or six. Um, and to me, I mean, we need people everywhere. So it, it just, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see. It's going to take a minute to sort everything. Yeah, I'm an eye on different people, Rasmus and Anderson. But we're just going to take the Anderson. You know, he's the next elite, so. Let's see, what, what does he get this time? He gets medium top six. That's a very bad pick. I'm sure there, there were elites in there somewhere. And, and I know they're hidden. You know, some it's different this year. Alright, so we're just going to send this rest of this round. See what we got now. We got Calgary. They want to give us their fourth and their fifth for my fourth. So, but I'd be dropping too many positions, and I want to draft as best I can. So, same thing. I appreciate two picks, but not not the both this year too. But still, nah. Right, now, Predators want to trade. They want to give me their 6th and 7th for my 6th. That's not so bad. I mean, how many spaces is that? Yeah, it's quite a, quite, they only want to move quite a bit. They want to go to 163rd overall. Uh, I mean, honestly, hmm. let's check out value. Nah, you know what? Never mind. Let's see if I can edit this. All these people want to trade these picks. Let's see if I see what I can get. Okay, they want to give me a fourth and a sixth for my fourth. I don't know. What? Uh, what if I can trade this for a third? I doubt it, but. Let's try. Let's see what we can do. They don't really want to give away their third. They got 
two seconds. I don't know. So they're just like me. I mean, they just want to rebuild. They want to keep their top three picks each round. Uh, what if I say, give me... I wonder what this is like. They don't want to give it away. That's way heavy on their side. I'd have to give them something else I don't want to. Sixth. Can we, can we get better? I think the, probably the fourth and the sixth is the only thing that's going to go. I just did, right? That's too... That's just way too much. They won't give me a first, second, or third next year because, yeah, they're worth a lot. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible trade. Yeah, let's do it. You know what? I don't care. Let's do it because I'm looking at um, quantity at this point, and I still have my other picks. So, I mean, unless I missed something. Let's see. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I mean, I should have one pick per round. Yeah, I'll have a second, a third, fourth, yeah. Yeah, I don't miss anything. Okay. Yep, let's do it. Alright, so like I said, we're just going to pick like the best people we can get. Yeah, we don't want to trade. I do that all the time. I don't know why. I don't want the trade pick. I need to send to the, for, to the pick first. Like it's send my pick. So I got a high bottom six, medium top nine. What else went? Uh, that's my medium six. Top four D, medium top six. There's a medium elite I could have got. Yeah, I thought, I've taken him before. He turns out pretty good. Top six, high top six, 59. So still a lot of 60s. I, I'm hoping to get a 60, but it looks like it's kind of trailing off here. Salo, yeah. 59. A lot of these players I've seen before. Veselina. Uh, yeah. 61s, 59s. Starter, that's a good one. Medium starter, medium elite. There's another good one. And I'm just wasting all my draft time doing this, but it's alright. Alright. So let's see what we can get. We take a center. So let's look for a defensive prospect. Let's take the. Uh, let's see who's higher. Defense. It's in the soul. We got medium top two. Second or third round. That's not worth it though. I'm going to need prospects and everything, to be honest. So let's check this out. We got exact top nine. That's the third round though. The second round is down here. Which is some. I don't necessarily like that. Let's see what's gonna go next. A bottom six. I really don't want a bottom six. Okay, this is getting better. Top nine. Do we want a power forward or two way forward? I tend to prefer two way forwards. I'm going to take one of these two because they'll be gone. Yep, we scouted them a little bit. So let's take. I think our scouts are better in Europe, if I remember correctly. So we're going to take this guy. You know, just based on that fact. Let's see what we get. A 58, medium top nine. They were a little bit off, but not too bad. Right, so we get a third round. Alright, so let's send the rest of this round. There's Calgary with that trade again, man. So they want to give me <laughs> the two six two six rounds for a fifth and no thanks. I want at least one trade in every round. I don't want to be taking next year picks yet. You never know what next year is going to bring. I mean, I am glad to see the um, computer, you know, making some good 
offers and stuff. I mean, they're decent, but since I'm a rebuilder, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that. All right, what else we need? Let's look for. Now we're in the third round, so now I might want to look for some defense. Make it worth our while. Alright, this is go to defense. See what's left. I mean, I know a lot of people don't even scout. I mean, they're just kind of like, eh. You know, or it's, I've known people who just simulate all these draft rounds, but I don't. Are we seeing Westerland? Weiss, that's not a whole lot. Uh, medium, top 6D. I see. Yeah, we're red all over, but that shooting, though. Man, if that pans out, that could be really good. 18 years old, that's cool. Six one, 185. We're probably going to take this guy. He's a little, bit, a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, but I'm hoping that that shot comes out and that potential looks good, so we're going to take it. Yeah, pretty good. Medium top 6D. That's not terrible at all. 55. Give him some time to grow. Yeah. I'm all about that. Alright, so we're going to just make sure I don't have any more picks. I don't like to get caught off guard. Get Sims next round. Now the Red Wings want to give me... The same thing basically they want my fifth round but nope not giving up my fifth round pick even on the fifth round so i already gave up my fourth round and moved down because they want somebody so let's send my pick and we got some 70s going 54 55s 61 that's a good find for fourth round I haven't seen any leads, lots of bottom sixes. Now might be a time to check the goalies now we're in the fourth round. So let's check goalies. Alright, now let's check potential first and then round next. So we got fringe starters. These we scouted three times, three times. AHL starters. Uh, exact. Like I said, I think our scouts are better in like Russia and Europe. It's high interest in this guy. Fringe starters. I think I've had this guy before. I think I have. We've seen him once. He's in Russia. Medium fringe starter. We might take him. We could use something like that. Some more European players we never saw on. We just put the person we saw like three times. High potential. Fringe starter 18, 5, 9, 160. And that's pretty much at the bottom of where I'd want to go because it's fifth, sixth round. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try. Yeah, athletic is good, but let's see, this guy seems a little bit more. I mean, not much, but and it's Russia, so I don't know. Um, let's just take this one because he's um, he's high fringe starter, so maybe we'll get lucky. So two medium fringe starter. That turned out pretty well. I wasn't that far off. Dang, how Philly, Philly got two back to back picks. That's cool. Okay, let's sim, go to round five. All right, we'll jump back for a second, see what, what went after we, we picked. So we picked him, so he got a 70 medium fringe starter. That was the other guy we were going to take, so he was going to go anyway. And they got a low top six and seven B. They're pretty much in the fifties right now, looks like. That's funny. Um burger. Um, bottom six, bottom six, fringe starter, fringe starter, seven D. Still all in the fifties, so 
what was our what was his last the goalie was he 50 he's 50 something I knew I'm missing out. yeah he's 50 50 something all right let's just send in my pick so far all medium potential guys so we're going to need to get center right winger I'm trying to just make it balanced send in my pick Here's that same trade. They want to give me this year's five and seven. They would want me to move two from now. That's moving too far now. They want me to go from picking 131st to 145th, and nah, I'm not going to do that. They're trying, though. So let's look at centers first. Potential. It's like how I do this. How I do it. Score by potential, then sort by projected round. So I'm not drafting somebody who I could have waited, you know, picked. So we got an exact top nine. Canada. I don't know. Our scouts aren't so great in Canada. WHL though, the Hitman. They tend to be kind of goons. Is he more defensive? No, not really. Not really. We'll, we will need somebody like uh, like a grinder. So we might be looking for this kind of a person. Later on, more defense, a little more, a little more physical, I guess. We we'll need someone like that to be coming up through the ranks. So not much at center. So let's check out right wing and watch. Let's make a decision. Here. We got a medium top nine, exact bottom six. And let's check projected round, so we're not overdrafting. That's a weird name. Trey fix for Lansky. Sniper, sniper, playmaker, six round though. Only one six round. So looks like center is probably going to be a little bit better for us this round anyway. We got more fifth round people and people we've seen three or four, well two or three times, not four. I think I've taken push correct before. He comes out pretty good. I know I've taken this guy, but I've taken next round, not this round. I've taken the France as well, just for an AHL player, and he does turn out just like he says, AHL, like it says right there. But he's a solid AHL player, so if you're looking for somebody like that, look for the France. I can show you his cards, you can see. Simon the France played center in the queue. Alright, but we got high. Um, yeah, high interest here. HL six. So we're probably gonna take one of these two. Push um, He's from Russia. Last time we got a medium from Russia. I don't know. I mean, let's just um, let's go with this Canadian player right here. Let's see what we get. 57. Better. It's a little bit better than last time. And still at medium potential, man. We're just not getting those high ones. I haven't seen too many high high potentials in this draft, to tell you the truth. Alright, let's same thing. Let's assume. We'll probably get an offer maybe in the next round. Am I going to offer anything? Yep. So they want to give me next year? No, I don't want anything for next year. I don't know about next year yet. I just want my top three, or yeah, third pick. So we'll briefly go back here in the fifth round. The AHL top six. There's a low elite. A red, but still. Top six, that's good, even red. Still lots of medium potentials. Lots of 53s, 52s. Bottom six is there's a there's a green. People are getting their AHL players as they begin back up, that's good. And I'm gonna fit him briefly so he's a low top nine fifty six. Would have been just a little bit better, probably. Some more AHL players, there's a pick for an NCI, a coin, there's the France. I'm telling you, the France in these middle rounds. And he'll be good for him too. We might even 
later on, like I said, end of next year, I might try to trade for him when he starts to get that value and beef up our AHL team. I got a medium backup, red, but still. Not bad at all. Alright, let's send my pick. I got a green, AHL top two G and a bottom six. Alright. So now we're just looking at right wingers and seeing what's left. I always do that. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, sort. Potential. Imagine these names. I played a lot of um, a lot of franchise mode, so these names I might know. This name seems familiar, and so does this one. Maybe that's why there's high. I probably took him to one time because he was high league interest. I've seen him twice. Another Russian. We have like a census. That's good. I'm not really sure about that. He's 17, that's not the greatest. I prefer they just be 18. Believe it or not, I did draft someone in here once, and they were 13. When the game first came out, I'll have to look back on that um, that franchise mode I was playing. You know, I was just kind of getting used to this and see if it got patched or what. This guy might be it. I like left-handed right wingers, so I think we're going to take this guy. Liga. Yep. 66. There we go. One of the best picks of the draft came around six. And medium bottom six. Cool. We got a nice gem right there. Alright, so we're pick 12. That's right. We got two two picks in this round. So let's go ahead and sum up to my next pick. Let's see anybody else get anything good? Fringe starter, that's not bad for six. Fifty-nine. I thought it was a game. All right. So let me look down here. We've drafted left wing, right wing, center. I mean, pretty much all around. We can look for some defensemen. Maybe just look and see who's who's best right now. Alright, I know I've taken McKenzie before. Anyway, medium top nine, center, left wing. Um, where else? Anybody else? Defender. Looking for the first defender. Yeah, Urson's still around. Here we go next time. This is an Emlyn guy I was thinking about taking. Because we need somebody like that, like a grinder kind of a player. I know it's not seventh round, but is there any interest in him? Some interest in him. May or may not make it to the next round. Let's sort and see if we got any more sixth round people. Yeah, we got plenty. We're gonna have to just wait and see if the Emily guys around because there are still more people above them. We don't really want a goalie. High interest in this person that we've seen once. We just don't know. I don't like doing those unknowns, but we might go for it. Some more high interest. This guy. Another left winger. We got Keating. We got another 7th D. We're going to try to go to 7th person. Or a grinder person next time. So. Uh, let's. A lot of mediums in here. Let's go by this again, see if any high. High potential. Oh, man. I keep coming back to him. You know what? I'm gonna take him. 52, low top nine. I mean, 52 is not bad. Low top nine. Eh, we'll have to see. We'll have to put him in there and you know, let him develop a while. Alright, so that should be it for this round, so let's send to the next. Now we'll have our 7th round pick. Come back and see what everybody else got. 
Okay, we got that good one. The six round right there. Okay. HL, some HL players. Bring starter, that's not bad. 58, that's not bad. 59, bottom, medium, bottom six. 52s, 50s, all the AHL players. 56, 55. Yeah, so I mean, still in the 50s, 59, that's a good one. That medium 70. I think we looked at him too. Alright, so last round, send me my pick. Let's see what they get. I mean, 57, 58, they drafted pretty well. I mean, if you're getting almost 60 in the seventh round, you're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty decent on the potential too as far as medium and low. Okay, let's just look at let's look at interest. See who people are interested in. I mean sometimes you gotta narrow it down somewhere, right? Okay. A lot of unknowns in AHL, but that's not gonna help us. Let's look at centers. We gotta narrow this down. We know about any of them, okay. Alright, so we got a grinder player. This would be a uh, medium bottom six, and probably put pretty close to it. All these players are pretty close to it, I imagine. Because we're, we're better in Europe, my scouts are. We got a medium top nine. We got a grinder player, though. Two way forwards, I tend to prefer two way forwards. We got a high bottom six right here. That might be the person I need. What handed is he? Left. I like left handed, so it's probably the person we're going to take. Let me get that defenseman and goalies just to make sure. Get some more medium defenders. Not much in the center. And we got just a bunch of undrafted goalies, it looks like. So, yeah, it looks like that right winger. Probably gonna be our guy right here. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we get. 54 AHL top six. We missed on that one. But we never know. We'll develop and we'll see. Let's see what we can do with it. And that's all my picks. I don't have any more, so let's send this around in the draft. I mean, if you look down there, player was drafted, we did alright. We didn't do too bad. So we're needing some defense. Um, what else? We, we'll probably sign that 66 player and put him in AHL. I mean, if he's going to come out 66 right off the right out of the draft, it's kind of tricky when you're you're doing this expansion 32 team because the computer's going to put in a whole bunch of 50 players in your AHL team. You got to fill up your AHL team anyway, so you almost would rather go ahead and sign a bunch of your draft picks. And just, you know, if they're going to be, say, 58, 59, 60 even, you know, you, you almost want to do that. Because they're going to be better than the players that uh, the computer puts in there. So this will finish the draft for us. Draft complete. So we end up with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 players. And they're eight, eight pretty decent players, all medium potential except for the one. And we can work on that. We can work on that. And all of that. Alright, so let me. I'll show you the contracts then. Let's see if they change. They change the trading block all the time. Yeah, not yet. Anytime they change the trading block, I want to go in there and check it out. Uh, view contracts. Let's view them all. I'll just go by position so you can see who, who the comments are now. Alright, so centers. We've got three, 82, 80, 79. So our exact top six is Hansel, who, who we picked up. Pick up the no. And Carlson. And then in the system, we got some 77s. And we got this guy who turned out to be a 70. He's the one we probably will sign and just put him in it. 
the um, AHL. All right, so left wingers. Looks like that's for hurting kind of bad there. Let's see, what we got in the system. Yeah, Gaunts and Bermistrov. I think I think I played Bermistrov up last time I picked him. So I may have to do that again if I don't get somebody in free agency. But that's where he's standing on left wing. Right wingers, we got Berglund. Um, who else we got? Brown. Stenton Yags. We got some 78-79s. We got 181. We got in the system. 78s, 78s. I like having Smith Pelly, so we'll probably play him up. Pitlick may or may not sign with us. We'll have to see. Like I said, sometimes here's the other guy we'll probably sign up for the AHL. Right, we'll just have to see. Let's see how that goes. And defense. Yeah, we got tons of defense. We're fine. Some of these defense we probably won't sign when their contracts click over. We have some RFAs. We'll have, and we might just let some. We will. We'll let some of them go because we got some good defense. We got, we got Myers and Chat and Kirk and and Batman. And I picked up Trevor Daly, so we don't know if these two will sign. Sometimes they won't. Like I said, 81. We got plenty of depth of defense, so we might let. We got some bigger contracts. I guess not really. Daly's got a bigger contract, but he's going to be somebody. His poise, you know, he's going to be somebody who's going to develop our younger players for us. That's specifically why I picked him. Um, same with this, with uh, Shattenkirk with this pick. When I picked him, discipline is pretty high. He's not going to take penalties, and he's poised, so we don't have to worry about him. him. He'll uh, throw some players for us, too. But people like who let we might let go, and so we'll just have to see on that. You know, we got one in there, so so we'll check out goalies. And then I think this has been quite a long video already. So after this, we'll um, I'll, I'll stop recording this video, and I'll just start right up with the next one. So I put this video out at the same time as I put out the one about my free agency and who I pick up and who I resign. But we got a starter, we got Neuberg, that's who I chose, 82, Corpus Salvo, I had him last time, I just picked him again. And then we got Subban, and then we got our guy we're not going to sign. So that's the comments for right now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, had a pretty good draft, and we'll see you in the next one where I'll sign free agents and uh, go through the uh, re-sign phase. And we'll finish making the comments and then we'll get our first season started. Alright, thanks for watching.